It's 11.30 a.m. and two of our kids are already home from school. Their school's released four hours early because the storms headed our way might be violent, there might be tornadoes, maybe some hail. Hello! Hey. Is this a storm vlog? <laughs> this is a storm vlog. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us on Tic Tac Toy Family. Today, it looks like it's going to be a crazy weather day. Ooh, there was just a flash of light. That was really loud thunder. It's 11.30 a.m. and two of our kids are already home from school. Their school's released four hours early because the storms headed our way might be violent, there might be tornadoes, maybe some hail. We're expecting strong gusts of winds, maybe up to 40, 45 miles an hour. Um, I just got noticed that Addie's school is releasing in half an hour, so I'm gonna get in the car and go pick up her. Um, cause she's getting out um, three hours early. I'm just pulling up to pick up Addie and her friends that we carpool with, and right now the weather's actually pretty good. It's just sprinkling. I think this is just a temporary break in the storm. Hey girls! Hey. Hello! Hey. Is this a storm vlog? <laughs> this is a storm vlog. Hey, hey y'all. How was it at school today? Um, it was good at first until like our first class Spanish or second class I guess. Um, our Spanish teacher was like, oh just like just so y'all know we're leaving at like noon so. <laughs> stopped on our way home from school and it's beautiful outside there could be rainbows and no one will question it and it looks like just a normal day in Tennessee where there are no threats of storms or tornadoes or anything so I'm gonna be really upset if I got out of school for absolutely no reason cuz I had a test to take and now it's being postponed Man, I'm fine with it I don't want to go to school I'm fine with staying here you're just ready to lay on aren't you Lily yes. <laughs> take the afternoon easy and meanwhile, poor Maya is still at school while Addie, Lily, and Colin are all just chilling at home. Her school did not get out early. Maybe they had a better idea of what the weather was gonna be like, or maybe it's still gonna change. I guess time will tell. I'm waiting to pick up Maya outside of school right now. It's almost three o'clock. You guys, the weather is beautiful. The sun is shining. There is no sign of the rain, the thunderstorms no hint that hail's coming. I just can't imagine a tornado forming on what looks to be such a beautiful afternoon. So I don't know, I don't know what to make of this. The forecast still shows in the radar that there might be some storms coming, but honestly, I'm just not believing it right now. Hi, Maya. <laughs> Did you survive all this hail and the tornado? There was hail? And I the... heard there was hail, I didn't. I don't think there was any hail. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Okay. Because it kind of looks like a beautiful day outside right now. Minus yeah. a little bit of rain. Yeah. Do you want to hear the real bummer? Everybody else got out early except for you. <laughs> Can you believe it? Wow. Do you think the storms are over or do you think there's more coming? I feel like they're over. But like at recess it was like this and then it started thundering again. So like maybe like one more sign. <laughs> We are back home and it has started raining again, but thankfully there are no thunderstorms and our tornado watch has officially expired. Lily, what are we doing right now? We are making some edible peanut butter Play-Doh. That's right, we were trying to think of something fun to do on a rainy day when we can't get outside and I remembered I used to make this Play-Doh when I was a kid and I remember it tasting delicious. I don't know what I'll think as an adult, but as a child, I loved the taste of this, and it is so easy to make. So Lily, what goes in each bowl? You do one cup of peanut butter, half a cup of honey, and one and three-fourths cup of powdered sugar. That's right, and that's it. You add those three ingredients to a bowl, give it a good stir, really knead it, and you've got some really fun homemade peanut butter Play-Doh. They're getting their spoons and really mixing it until it forms a nice ball. And once it's kind of clumped together in a ball, that's when you put some wax paper out and you get your hands and you knead it and you get to really form it into that nice Play-Doh. Did you eat them already? How did it taste? Have some. <laughs> Is it yummy? 
Look at this. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Lily, how's the consistency of that Play-Doh? Very Play-Doh-y. And how's the taste, more importantly? I like it. And we have lots of cookie cutters, guys. You can have some fun with your Play-Doh. You know, it's not Christmas, I'm using a snowman. I think you can use a snowman cookie cutter any time of year. What do you think about the taste as you're chewing on a big bite? Is it good? I think it's delicious. The powdered sugar is key. And the honey. I'm actually surprised we haven't had any tornado warnings today or the tornado sirens going off because it was kind of the perfect weather to create a tornado today. Ms. Addie, what were we doing the last few days? We were in swimming with our neighbors in their pool and it was really hot and then tomorrow was dropping down to like the 40s or 50s. That's right, we're going from like 80 degrees yesterday to 40 degrees tomorrow. And anytime the air is like warm and moist and kind of unstable and you have a cold front come in, it's perfect tornado conditions. So I'm so thankful that we haven't had tornado warnings, haven't had any sirens, and I think we are in the clear for the rest of the day. Sandy, would you like a treat too? Everybody else got a treat. What do you think, what do you think? Oh, do you want in the peanut butter jar? Oh, yes. We used the last of the peanut butter and I was gonna throw away the empty jar, but I figured Sandy might enjoy looking off the little bit that's left. So I can begin to begin again. Another really fun rainy day activity with the bigger girls and we are playing MASH. Now you mamas who are watching probably know what MASH is but it's one of those games that's kind of been lost for the younger generation so I'm gonna reintroduce it to the girls. Addie and Mike, do you remember I actually caught you this a few years ago? I do, yeah. Uh -huh. Remember it? Have you ever played it, Leela? Uh, one time. You have? What about you, Lily? I don't remember. <laughs> All right, well, it's gonna be fun. So I found some MASH printables on It's Always Autumn, which I'll link in the description box below. But you don't need a printable, you can totally just do this on any scrap of paper. If you're completely unfamiliar with MASH, it's just kind of a fun, silly game where you get to predict your future. Will it come true? Probably not, but it's kind of fun anyways. Girls, the first thing you need to do is write down the names of four people who might one day be your spouse. Now, these don't have to be real people. They can be fictional characters from books. They can be friends you have. They can be made up names of people you've never met. They can be movie characters. You can get as creative as you want with this. I'm gonna guess you're putting book characters down. I'm gonna put book characters down. I just need to sort through which ones. Addy made me put Remus Lupin. Who is that? <laughs> so, um, he was one of the in Harry Potter, um, he was one of Harry's dad's friends. Oh. <laughs> she put down Dobby from Harry Potter. <laughs> and I saw a Shrek on there too. I wrote down Caillou because when I was little, I loved that show. I'm right down on um, Finnick. They are putting a lot more thought into these spouses than I thought they would be. <laughs> now the next category we're gonna fill out, let's see what it is, is gonna be the number of kids you think you're gonna have as an adult. So again, it could be realistic numbers or you can go a little crazy with this. I'm doing one, two, three, and four. She wrote down 700 billion. Wow, <laughs> you're gonna be a busy lady. <laughs> I haven't put anything. So we're gonna my spouses. Next up is you list four possible cities that you might live in as an adult. They can be cities within the country, cities around the world. They could even be fictional cities, I suppose. I'm seeing Tokyo, Dublin, Florence, Nashville. Lots of good cities here. Next up, you think about what type of car you might be driving. My go-to would be a McLaren, maybe a McLaren Senna. But if I'm gonna be, if I have a chance at living in Florence, Italy, then I have to go with a Ferrari. So those are gonna be two of my options. I have not chosen the rest. I wrote Lamborghini. 
The last bit of your future you have to figure out is what your job is going to be. And this one is always the most fun to me because there are so many creative ideas you can put for your job. What are you thinking, Maya? FBI or Amazon employee? I put SVU for Special Victims Unit. I put Chef, Travel Agent, and Unemployed because we always <laughs> have to have a backup plan. <laughs> Reaching for the stars, Lily. Reaching for the stars. I put Spy, a belly button doctor, and Chick-fil-A. Ooh, Chick-fil-A. I might be your best buddy. You've got two more, girly. I know what I'm thinking. I don't know what else to put. You can be unemployed with me. I'll put unemployed. Next is the mash magic. You make a spiral circle until I say stop. Go. Stop. So we count the rings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're gonna write your magic number down. Lily, you're five, what are you girls? Eight. Eight six. and six. Here's the tricky but fun part. Addie is number eight, so she's gonna start at the top of her paper where it says MASH, M-A-S-H, and she's gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we cross off the eighth one. So Leela's crossing off every sixth one, Maya every eighth entry, and Lily every fifth one, I believe? Yes. No 3,000 kids for Leela. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. No Tesla. No Franklin. No Franklin. Oh All right. thank goodness I don't have four kids. I can't be a school communications manager. Oh no. I work at the Ministry of Magic. So you keep going and crossing off every eighth one or every sixth one or whatever number you picked. And you keep going until you only have one remaining in each column. And the things you have remaining supposedly tell you what your future is like. And if you're wondering what MASH stands for, as you're going, you're also crossing off M's and A's and S's and H's until you have one letter left. And that letter's gonna tell you what type of house you're going to live in as an adult. It could be a mansion, an apartment, a shack, or a house. I'm not gonna have a Ferrari. I still have a chance at a McLaren though. Lily, you look devastated. I don't get to live in Tokyo. I don't live in a shack. That's the, one of, that's the first MASH thing I crossed off. I'm yeah. so relieved. No belly button doctor. Oh, that's such a bummer, Lila. I just realized I never officially introduced Lila Rue in this video, but you've probably seen her in many videos because Lila is Maya's best buddy. Magic. So say hi to Lila, everybody. Hi, Lila. Hi, hey, Lila. <laughs> I get to marry well. I have 102 kids. I figured everything else out. Now I just have yet to determine who my husband is gonna be. I think everyone has officially <laughs> figured out their futures, so let's hear all about what their lives are gonna be like. This is big news, guys. Maya, start us off. What is your future like? I will live in a mansion. I'm gonna marry Cedric Diggory from Harry Potter. I'm gonna have 102 kids. Woo. I'm gonna live in Toronto, which is in Canada. I'm gonna have a ram, and my job is gonna be a school communications manager. Oh, so you are gonna be a school communications manager. Very good. Maya has a very exciting feature. Let's hear Lily's now. <laughs> I'm disappointed by some of my outcomes, oh, but no. it's fine. I get to marry Will, which is like, he's a really good husband for my favorite TV show. <laughs> oh yeah, I get to live in a house. I'm the only one here that does not live in a mansion, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna have six kids. I'm gonna live in Chattanooga, sadly not Tokyo. I'm gonna have a Jeep, and I'm gonna be a travel agent. That's exciting. Now it's time to hear Leela Rue's future. So I get to live in a mansion. I'm gonna marry Caillou. <laughs> I get to have three kids, and I get to live in Tokyo and I'm gonna drive a Honda Pilot and I'll get to work at Chick-fil-A. Last up, we have Addie's future. Mm -hmm. So I get to live in a mansion in Wiltshire, which is where the Malfoy man, the city in the Malfoy Mansion is in Harry Potter, and I'm married to Draco Malfoy, so apparently I live in the Malfoy Mansion, I guess. <laughs> and I also guess I'm a muggle because I ride a Jeep and I work at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many kids did you have in this? Oh, four. Four, okay. Those are some interesting features. We have both Leela and Addie at Chick-fil-A together. Maya's got a busy life with 102 kids. And then Lily, you're my travel agent, so I'm gonna come to you for all my travel needs. I live in a house. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So next time you guys have a rainy day or even a sunshiny day, 
bring out some mash. It's some good fun. And the best thing is you can play it so many times and get completely different answers. Well, we thought we were in the clear for the day, but there's actually been a few tornado warnings, which means tornadoes have been spotted in certain parts of Tennessee. Our county is not under a tornado warning, but we are under a new tornado watch. And a watch just means that there are conditions that are perfect for making tornadoes. There have not been any spotted, but the conditions exist to create tornadoes. So we're under that watch until nine o'clock tonight. So for a few more hours. How are the enchiladas, Colin? Good. So we're just gonna enjoy our chicken enchilada dinner and pray that there are no more tornadoes, that everyone is safe tonight, and that we will wake up tomorrow and it'll be a beautiful, fresh, sunshiny day. It's about 8.15, Colin's already in bed for the night, and I was sitting in the living room and I could hear just the wind get really loud, so I stepped outside for a moment. The wind's definitely howling. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but it's pretty loud. There's some lightning in the distance, some um, thunder that's just started. But we only have about 45 minutes to go for our tornado wash. I really think we're in the clear. I think we might have a little bit of a storm passing through, but I think we're gonna be good for the night.